Relativity 104 is a randomized phase two study that compared to nivolumab plus chemotherapy, nivolumab plus relatimab plus chemotherapy in patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer in the first line setting. So relatimab, this is a lax blocking antibody. It was approved in the treatment of melanoma in addition to, uh, to nivolumab. So here we want to understand in this study what is the contribution of adding relatimab to uh, standard of care uh, chemotherapy plus uh, anti-PD-1. And we are using uh, chemo plus uh, nivo in this setting uh, because the combination of relatimab with nivolumab plus chemotherapy is the experimental arm in this, uh, in this uh, study. Um, 309 patients, so significant cohort of patients. Uh, the study did not meet its primary endpoint of uh, benefit in terms of response rate. It was improved. Uh, in the NIVO RELA chemotherapy arm versus NIVO plus chemotherapy, but that did not reach uh, statistical significance. Of more interest is the analysis of the patient population benefiting uh, uh, from the addition of RELA to, to, to chemotherapy and nivolumab. We looked at PDL1 uh, and we looked at histology because these were pre specified and uh, stratification factors. Uh, uh, in, uh, in the study uh, and it, it is very clear that we have a, a benefit uh, in patients with PDL1 positive, so 1% or higher expression of PDL1 and non-squamous cell uh, histology uh, with a hazard ratio for PFS of 0.55, so pretty clinically uh, meaningful and response rate uh, uh, of 58% uh, versus 40%. So that's uh, obviously uh, 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 clinically meaningful. This is a significant benefit in this subset of patients. Uh, the benefit is observed both in PDL1 1 to 49 and PDL1 of 50% or higher, uh, which is good. And uh, now we have the rationale for the phase 3 trial, uh, which is relativity 1093, uh, which will compare this combination, NIVO plus RELA plus uh, chemo, to the standard of care, which is uh, chemotherapy plus pembrolizumab in patients with pd one expression 1 to 49% and non-squamous histology. With regard to safety, uh, uh, very interesting to, to see that the safety was comparable between the two arms. Uh, the main risk with the uh, combination of nivo rela chemotherapy is uh, 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 hematological toxicity, so neutropenia, febrile neutropenia and, and septic shock. It's, uh, it was mandatory in the trial for elderly patients above uh, 60 years old to receive uh, prophylactic myriad growth factors. But at the end, we see a similar rate of grade 3, 4 treatment related adverse events, same rate of treatment uh, related adverse event discontinuations, uh, and uh, similar number of patients uh, who died during the, the study because of treatment related adverse events. So, uh, safety is really not a, a concern uh, with this uh, combination. So I, I think it uh, raises a question of how to move forward with the first line treatment of uh, uh, patients with metastatic non small cell lung cancer. Chemo plus IO is clearly the standard of care, but we need probably now to move to kind of intensification or escalation with more combination. Um, LAC3 uh, blocking agents are obviously promising, as I just discussed. There are other uh, strategies, such as uh, uh, a combination with ADC, so antibody drug conjugate, and several trials are ongoing with a combination of IO plus chemo plus uh, ADCs. And finally, there are some bispecific antibodies uh, that uh, will work uh, uh, in uh, targeting several immune checkpoints. We have uh, data with uh, uh, bispecific CTLA4 PD1, TGIT uh, PD1 uh, antibodies that are uh, underway.